eight years I did really really severe depression and anxiety and was hospitalized twice um, uh, vomiting panic attacks and yeah it was really horrendous talking to my psychiatrist who that before told me I would suffer from depression for the rest of my life mm -hmm. and it was the second most severe one of my workers had seen and um, he said you've made a fundamental shift I, <laughs> there's no reason that I can't see any reason for you to have to go back to that place again so um, for him to have recognised that was amazing. Have been on the whole marvellous since, and I no longer have a nanny because I couldn't cope with um, my children before I did LP and needed a full time nanny, so she's gone, well and truly. Um, I no longer have a psychiatrist, and I have been seeing a therapist who tells me I don't need her anymore, <laughs> so I just quite enjoy going there. So, <laughs> <laughs> someone will listen to me again. <laughs> um, um, I think probably one of the things I said to Mel I wanted was to be a fun mum instead of the one that slept all the time so um, I am now I think a fun mum I even got my son on TV at the end of last year um, for some dinosaurs that would come alive at night time <laughs> and cause all sorts of havoc um, and Christmases have been amazing since two fantastic Christmases instead of mm. being exhausted and unable to function. So I trained as a teacher um, lots of years ago and I thought I would never look at that again. But at the end of last year I did my first day of relief teaching and I was so mm. confident and it went so amazingly well. And I'm looking forward to getting into more that this year. Yeah. Woohoo! Oh,